Hey guys, just letting you know, I am on my way to the new Sephora opening at Miranda and should be opening soon. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm just gonna be talking about a little Sephora mini haul that I did yesterday at the grand opening at Miranda in Sydney yesterday. It was very exciting, although my lower back is actually still recovering from standing almost three hours in line. So I got there at quarter to eight in the morning and I think we got in there around about quarter past 10, so quarter to 11. Finally got in, got myself some goodies. And also because we were early birds, we also received a little tote bag with a lot of samples in there. So these lovely ladies that were working at Sephora on the day, they were coming around and they were providing us samples. So by the end of it all, before even entering the doors, we had so many samples and upon entering the door, they gave us this tote bag with another sample box inside. And I really do love this little tote. It's great. It's good quality canvas tote. So before I go in and show you the samples that I got from Sephora, these are the actual items that I picked up and bought myself while I was waiting in line. I was like, what can I get? What can I get that's, you know, that I actually really will need and get some use out of. So I got this Sephora beauty cleansing set. It's a headband and wristband set. And have you ever wanted, I don't know if it's a pet peeve of yours, but it's a real big pet peeve of mine is when you're washing your face and the water dribbles down your arms. Or even like when you're washing the dishes and no matter how much, you know, you put your sleeves up, they just fall back down again. I know you can get those things that you can put on your tops to keep them up, but I don't own any. And I don't know why I haven't bought anything. But anyway, going back to cleansing the face, you know, when you're washing your face, you have your headband, right? So you've got your hair out of your face. And even then I still managed to get hair in my face when I'm washing it. But anyway, hopefully this will do the trick. And then they've got the wristbands here, so you can put them on, and when the water's going down your arms, it will stop. So that's what I picked up from Sephora. This was $28, I believe. I also picked up this foundation, which was $36. It's a Reveal the Real Soft Radiant Skin Tint by Sephora. Never ever tried any Sephora products. I have tried some of their eyeshadows and I have tried some of their lip stains, but I've never actually tried a foundation before. So this one here is obviously still sealed. I didn't even play around with the testers. I just kind of said, yeah, that's going to be my shade. So I picked that one up. This one is in the shade 210 Olive Medium. So we're going to put that on our face today and give that a whirl. Really curious. They had so many like foundation products there. I also picked up the I Like It Clean Lash by Lash Volume Plus Densifying Care Mascara. I am really excited to try this mascara out. I did check out the tester when I was there yesterday and nobody had opened it up yet. So it was quite difficult to open it, but I managed to open it up and 
it looks like a really nice wand. So I'm really, really excited to try this one out. And I'm really hoping that it, it's a good mascara. You know, I know mascara first time around is either hit or miss. And sometimes it's usually miss because it's still quite new. You gotta give it a few tries for the mascara to sort of dry out a little bit. I've gotta give it the benefit of the doubt, but this is what we're gonna to try today. And whilst I was there, I got a little alert from Mecca and Mecca is owned by a Australian New Zealand brand to go and pick up my level three beauty loop, which they are offering three different types of scents. Now they have the romantic scent. They have this other scent and they had the grounded. I picked up the grounded and it's this little uh, box here. The scents that they have in the grounded is by Dias and Durga, I don't know what. I've heard this is a lovely scent. And then they've also put in one by Malin and Goetz called Dark Rum. And apparently they're supposed to be really nice layered together. So I'm gonna be spritzing some of those on. Now, I also did happen to get some perfume uh, by Commodity, the new juice perfume. I'll show that later, it's on my desk, but maybe I'll do a different video on that one, keep it separate. What I might actually do is sprawl them out and I will do a little video capturing all the samples that they included in the bag rather than talk about each individual one because honestly, it'll be forever and a day. This is the the head mask, which looks like that. Okay, I look like Statue of Liberty. Just need those spikes on top of my head. <laughs> I'll leave that on. And these are the arm wrists. And honestly, you could probably use these as hair ties as well, scrunchies. Um, but, yeah, you're supposed to just put them on like this and when you wash your face, it will stop the water from dripping down your elbows. So, so there's that. I'm gonna go ahead now and open up this Reveal the Conceal. No, what is it? Reveal the Real Soft Radiant Skin Tint. They've really sealed the cap on this, so you need to peel off the sticker. Light breathable coverage offering a soft radiant finish. Blurs and smooth skin texture. 93% skincare based formula with hydrating flower extracts. Skin feels refreshed and looks naturally more luminous. Okay, let's give this a shake. I'm gonna apply this with my fingers. I'm not gonna apply it with a brush or any damn beauty sponge. I wanna see how it goes on just with my fingers. So I'm unscrewing the cap. Now you do get 30 mils, which is 1.01 fluid ounces. And I'm just going to put that like so. I'm assuming this is gonna be like a normal skin tint. It's quite liquidy. Uh, did I get the wrong shade? Perhaps I did. Oh well, it's too late now. But, shade wise aside, shade aside, the tint feels so silky smooth. It really feels so easy to blend. Now, mind you, what I will do, probably just so this looks better on the skin. Let me just do my best to shear it out with my fingers. I'm not gonna say anything just yet. I definitely look orange, and I probably should have stuck with getting a light to medium shade. I know you guys are all probably laughing your hearts out which is fine because I'm 
I think I'm in too much shock at the moment to to say anything. But the thing is, it feels beautiful. Why, oh, why did I pick up the wrong shade? And how am I going to make it work for me? In terms of the way it feels and the blendability, honestly, it feels so beautiful. It feels silky. It feels smooth. It feels like it would be great for oily combination skin types. Not sure if it's going to suit more drier skin because of the fact that it does dry down quite quickly. And I think if you do have very dry skin, you would probably need to really prime your skin first with a really nice serum or a nice primer or a hydrating moisturizer and then putting it on because I think this might be a bit too... I don't know, it might be just a little bit too drying for drier skin, but let me just bring you guys up closer. And let's just have a look. Yeah, I know I'm orange, but it feels beautiful. You know, I think the camera's making it look more orange than it actually is in real life. So that's fine. And I think if you wanted to have like a tanned shade, this would be good, but mix it with like your normal foundation, I think. I think this would be really good to warm up your current foundation, especially in the summertime. All right, now let's go and try on this mascara. The mascara. This is the one, by the way. It's not a silicone wand. It's just, it's just a normal brush one, which I love. Feels really, really comfortable on the lashes. It's not poking me at all. Because you know how there's some spiky brushes that poke you right in the in the waterline? Yeah, this one doesn't. So that's upon first coat. Just going to pick up some more. So far, I'm really loving the feel of this mascara. Look at the length that it's given me already. I'm going to just build it up to see if we can get more volume. Now, I have got mascara on my upper lid, but I'm loving this mascara. I'm so glad I picked it up. I'm not sure how it's going to go throughout the rest of the day, but that's why I'm going to do a wear test. So what I will do is I'll provide an update probably around about the three, four o'clock mark because then it just gets too dark. So I'll provide an update around about that time and we'll see how the mascara is going. So that is going to be approximately 11, 12, 1, 2, 3 in about five hours time. And I'll see you all again soon. So guys, these are all the samples that I got yesterday from the Sephora event that they had I mean, we've got some Laneige masks, samples from Clarins, perfume samples, uh, Sol Wazoo, Vita Glow, some more perfume samples, and what else do we have? Makeup Forever, Wella. Got some stuff by Biosense. Aveda, more perfume, Urban Jungle, Fenty, more stuff by Biosense. We really love these, really love these two brands actually, these ones. So very happy to try those out for samples. Copper Peptide Serum and the, um, the Squalene Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. We have this Laneige lip mask, Huda Beauty, Papaya Enzyme Scrub. Uh, what else do we have? Another thing by Biosense. This is the Squalene Eye Cream. And some more samples, Leno Lips, 
Murad, love Murad products. Lovely little samples that they were handing out yesterday. Guys, I will be back to show you how the foundation and the mascara is wearing out. Hey guys, it is now five hour check-in time with this foundation, which looks orange, <laughs> but it is what it is. And I'm still loving the finish. It's absolutely beautiful. I would definitely recommend getting it again. I would get a different shade and I'll perhaps do the testing. I'll check out the testers when I'm in the Sephora store next. Now, in regards to the, got hair in my mouth, in regards to the mascara, I don't have any concealer on by the way today, but in regards to the mascara, it held up really, really, really well. And I'm loving it. This could be my favorite new mascara, guys. Who knew that the Sephora clean mascara would be volumizing, lengthening, um, and it hasn't smudged at all. I mean, this is a little bit of smudging there, but that was when I was actually putting the mascara on. I didn't clean it up, but no smudging whatsoever and still really, really lengthening and volumizing, no flakiness, nothing. So really, really happy with that. Well, guys, that is the end of the video. And I thank you so much for the people who have recently subscribed to my channel. It really means the world to me. If there is any video that you'd like me to do coming up, please leave your comments in the description box below. Please leave your comments in the comments section below. And have a lovely day or night wherever you are. Bye for now.